about that, lady. <laughs> That's what you think about that. <laughs> Alright, close the door. No, close the door. All right, go. 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 Did we say something? No. Just look ugly. Day number two. I feel well rested. Got a ton of sleep. If you guys didn't see the last video, basically part one to the one you're watching now, you should check it out. One of the most incredible off the cuff fish catches in my entire life and that is putting it very light but not exaggerating but anyway we're still out here in east texas boys woke up a little bit earlier this morning boat's a lot cleaner we're a little more organized and we have a bit of a foundation to build upon for today's bites we got the numbers we got probably 40 fish yesterday what we're gonna do today is look for big ones we're probably gonna catch a lot of little fish but the main goal is the girth as we are in the land of giants teeners lurk just beyond those east texas pines we're hoping to find, at the very least, one. What happened to the drone, Kale? Uh, we were trying to get some cinematic shots because, you know, we want to elevate the video a little bit, <laughs> throw up the drone would be nice. We we're getting some really cool uh, cinematic aerial B-roll, and Caleb's like, all right, just, just stop down the road a little bit. I'm going to... And then before he can even finish the sentence, I heard a semi go past and I hear ding! And I was like, what was that? Did a rock just hit our truck? And Caleb's looking at the screen of the drone. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, well, a semi ate our drone today. It's actually Caleb's drone. So um, be sure to like the video and uh, give us some support because, you know, these things aren't free and uh, they do cost a bit of money. But anyway, that sucks. Hopefully we can make it up by catching some fish today. It's going to be better, worse, or the same as yesterday. Gonna be better. Couldn't be any worse for Chris. <laughs> that is just not true at all. <laughs> Starting off with a nice little morning. He's disc. just ripping heaters. He made fun of me for eating a banana. I think it's gonna be better. Average, bigger, average size fish, less bites. That's less my bites. guess. I agree. And I, I don't know if gonna. I think it's just gonna be a great time with you guys. A fish is just a bonus. That's beautiful. Yeah. Also, too, I think it'd be a good idea if we just. We're a little bit more um, patient with each other today. Oh, got a cue the clip. Mm. Why is your rod right there? Why don't you not? You almost you just did it again. You f something up and then point the finger at someone else. Dude, are you kidding me? Who the f sits down to suck on their shiner box? <laughs> it, got, it got a little rowdy on the boat. All, we're not serious. Well, I don't no, know, maybe, no, maybe I little... wasn't actually being serious. I was just like pissed off. See, like, when I Grant just... gets outfished by me in the back of the boat, Bro, he just has some anger issues. See, yesterday. you're seeing it start to flare up right now. <laughs> He's like, he's like a perch when you catch a perch, they're like... Okay, y'all go y'all go check out Chris's video, and then go check out my video. Wait, Chris, you didn't film a video. I got my camera. Well, yeah, here's the thing, even filming. if he didn't film, his video would go up before you are, yours yeah. for sure. Yeah, because I've already filmed 10 other videos to post. Sounds like when are they going up? One was supposed to go up on Monday. You're, you're like a SoundCloud but... rapper, like, I swear that album's gonna drop. That album's dropping soon. Some coming That's soon. It. Some coming soon. Big My things coming. <laughs> Big things coming. <laughs> Something in the works. Wait on it. Start going to the bridge. Where we've heard the big girls are. Are those bow bow fins? Fins? Giant bowfin. Just dumb. Were they just de dead at Just the dead right? up there, yeah. Someone probably caught them and thought they were snake eaters. Or they just don't like both. I love them. I got it. So if you want to go over here, I think this might be too shallow to get in there, but the creek channel comes no, it in should down be. there. If, it's, if there's like a legit, no. It's oh, deep. that looks perfect. Yeah, back there, we can get in back there. There's one. There we go. First fish. We'll take him. Woo. First kill of the day. On the old blazing worm, we should try to keep track of how many fish we catch. Number uno. That's number one. Number one day two. On the old blazing. It's fishing super shallow right now. My boat's sitting in like two feet. We're casting into inches. These fish are warm and spawning. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Ooh. What? Way oh. back there. There's one. Go. Oh, my God. Oh, my 
Yeah, a bit off the bank. Number two, fish number two, quick little dinky. Another one for the blazing. Grant, what's going on over there? Grant did look the way and my spook went into a tree. Just break it off, we'll go get it. You wanna break it off? Yeah, we'll go get it later. Actually, there's no way we're breaking it. I just wanna fuck that up, dude. Why you gotta be like that, Grant? Oh my gosh, dude. Get over there, get over there, get over there. Okay. Somebody get the nut. Get over there hard. I got the nut. I'm trying. Say again. Giant. It's a good one, yeah. Dude, He's that right thing there. is zip. Good. I got him, I got him. Oh, that's a good one. Stay on, old girl. Stay on, old girl. You're about to jump. Ooh, that's a good one. That's the one we want. That's more like it. Not an absolute giant, but the biggest one of the trip. Woo! Nice. We'll take him. Thanks, Grant. Sure. Here we go. This is what we've been after. The bigger ones like this, probably a five pounder. For sure. We were coming over here to get Grant's uh, his spook undone, and I made one big cast in the very back of this cut, and that's where the big one lives. I was thinking we're either gonna find the fish a bit off the bank, or they're gonna be way, way back there. Sure enough, there's a decent one, and Grant's just in the back pain. Penis out. Penis out. <laughs> five and a quarter. Yeah, I'm gonna say five and a quarter, too. Five, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, I'm gonna say five and a quarter. Oh, hang on. Oh, five. Five, six. nine, four. Five, nine, four. Almost a six pounder to start the day. If we get a bunch of these, it would make this trip absolutely worth it. Time to send her back because she is shallow and she's up here for a reason. Oh, long fish, man. Definitely could have been a, a sick pre pre spawn. Let's go, boys. Let's get some more. Look at that thing held. That was actually insane. That was a lot. I thought I was going to use that as leverage. It's a 7 8 rod. I could not move that fish. Okay, I don't know how you don't do that. I don't know. I can't, right? You're not allowed to talk shit. Chris all day. One. Yeah, but that's a good one. Like, like, hey guys, let's throw that's a. That's a treble bait twenty yards yeah. into a brush. Let's throw a. Let's go. Have no right to let's go throw a crankbait and some hydrilla. Grant, Grant sent my spook into a. Uh, into, I don't know, I guess like the land. Maybe he saw a beaver rustling around and said, I gotta get that. So he's sending my boat now in an inch of water. I don't know how that's gonna help. I'm actually stoked I don't have siblings because if I did, then I would just be like such a terrible person hanging around. No, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Please, please, please. I, let me, let me get it, I got it. There's gonna be one back in here. These sticks to the left too look pretty good. Oh, good one. Got him. Good one? Oh yeah, nice one. We're finding some better fish here, boys. Oh, hooked up on the fro. See if I can keep her on. Pretty good one. There you go. Yes, sir. That's a four. Nice fish. Good fish on the frog. First good one of the day for me. Crunch the toad. Nice. Oh, my best. Oh, look at that. Look. That was so sick. Heads up. You all right? You all right? Yeah, yeah, my bad. bad, my bad. There you go. <gasps> my bad. Oh, I got it. Sorry. Right, okay. Lift up in your elbow. Oh my gosh! Is that a pass? Holy hell, dude. That was, that scared me. Wow. It's a good one. Nice fish on the new Guggen two step. It's not a huge one, but he absolutely crushed it. That was such a fun bite.
That was so sick. Ate it twice. Wow, they are aggressive right now. He missed it the first time, just immediately cracked it. My first frog fish of the day on the filthy frog. This is nuts, man. This is some fun fishing. Decent little guy. Top water. I wasn't even looking. I was like looking behind my motor. I'm like, am I trimmed up? It feels like we're dragging. And he decided to eat it. Always happens. On the frog. They are back here. It's essentially just a spawning cut right outside of the main kind of creek area. It's almost almost like a bay, but this is just like a an inch deep little flat and these fish are stuffed in here. They're eating frogs, spooks, poppers, glides, really whatever you want to throw. Actually, I don't know if that was from me. It looks like this fish has already been caught. Interesting. But regardless of the size, very fun on the toad. See ya. Midday updates. What time is it? Oh wow, not midday, I picked 320. Thanks. Just kidding. Almost end of the day update, 320. I apologize, it's been like three hours without really much action. We went north a bit, found a ton of good looking hydrilla, and honestly we found some pretty good fish, but we were like in that weird mode where they weren't eating. Like these shallow fish, anything that's like in two or three feet of water right now or less, seems to want to hurt our lure. But anyway, spot number three, let's grind. That was, that was so insane. Cool. That was crazy. Get in the boat. Another little one pounder. Literally watched him eat it right at my feet. That was so cool. Super aggressive little guy. Another another filthy frog bass. Let's go. Stuck so good. Like it is interesting. This is so much different than we fish yesterday. Oh my god. That was so crazy. That was so crazy. Burn in the back. Ooh. Here we go. Second half of the day. Actually, this is the fourth quarter. We're throwing the filthy frog around. Trim the tails a little bit. Ooh, give her a nice little squirt. Nice fish. Hopefully we get a couple more. We're in the way back of it right now. My chill motor's propped up by a little, uh, what was it, like a life pack there. And uh, it's keeping us in the shallow water, literally just inches. Decent little bass. Oh, he's actually been caught before. He's got a cold mark in him. Look at that. Like an hourglass. What? It's a punching weight, oh. dude. Oh. Oh. I don't know how many times I've been like, "Hey, don't open that compartment." He's like, "I organized everything so that it would fly out when I open that compartment." Every time you wreak havoc, you smile and laugh. You're like the no, guys. he's just like Alex Perry, just like AP Bassett. Let's talk tackle. We're the back of this cut right now. We've kind of built up a little bit of steam, hit a lull from like, I want to say like 11 to 1.30, got off the water, grabbed some food. That was boring, you didn't film it. But we're back in this cut right now. We're getting some numbers. I've missed two nice fish on the frog, but I wanted to take like a quick couple seconds to break down the top three lures that have worked the past couple days here in East Texas. If you see water above 60 degrees, generally these fish are gonna be shallow. Also, it's the time of the year where they spawn. So it's more than just the water temperature that's gonna get them to move up. It's the uh, it's the time of year. So a lot of people are like, well, the water's not warm enough yet. They won't be shallow, but it's like they have this thing in their head. So just keep that in mind. Uh, when we first came here, we really didn't know too much about this lake, but we knew it was the right time of year. So we went up shallow. Anyway, I'm rambling. So with it being a shallow bite, we're fishing anything from three foot to six inches of water. We've utilized a couple of different things, uh, one of which being a frog, actually. Most people mistaken a frog as being a, a good post-spawn tactic when those fish are guarding fry and they start positioning themselves in the grass beds that is like adjacent to the spawning flat. But a frog works good now. Anything that's gonna get near around where they're staging or thinking of spawning is probably gonna get clocked. And because this water is so shallow, we're very limited to what we can throw. Obviously, can't throw a crankbait in six inches of water, you know. We've been getting bites in 63 degree water temps. So despite what you may think, we've been told frog's a great, awesome early spring bait, especially for down in the south. Throwing this on a 7.5 Guggen Green. Got 50 pound braid. 
That's been catching some good fish. Like we've actually had some pretty good size on the frog. Also, along with that, what the boys were throwing yesterday, which I started to throw today, and what's yielded the biggest bass of the trip is throwing the blazing worm. This is in a Okeechobee color. Throwing this on an eight ounce tungsten peg weight. And the reason why we're using such lightweight and heavy cover is because this bottom is in some places a bit muddy and silty. So you don't want a bait to get buried in the mud. The fish can't see it. They're not going to go after it. So having a lighter weight like that will allow us to stay on top of the cover, stay on top of the mud, and not get lost in front of the fish's face. Also, too, if you know, want to cover more water, you can actually swim this back to the boat. That's one of the great things about the blaze worm is you can hop it, you can slowly drag it over shallow fish, or you know, when you're done with your cast, you can slowly creep it back in for a reaction bites. It's a very versatile worm. Out of all our Guggen soft plastic, this might be my favorite. This has got a 5 aught EWG or Guggen Gold worm hook and then we've got like i said the tungsten pegged 20 pound test on a 7 8 rod and lastly one of the techniques i was utilizing a lot yesterday but really haven't picked up today because the bite's been good on the on the frog and blazing worm is just a weightless rigged five inch lunker lug on like a three aught guggen gold worm hook and this is an awesome bait because like i said we're fishing very shallow water so you have to think like what's a good lure that's gonna have a very slow rate of fall something that's weedless and that the fish want, and this is exactly it. You can even do a little bit of fancy stuff too. If you're fishing like, you know, four feet of water, you can put a little split shot weight above it, and that's kind of like a mojo rig. It's like a, it's like a shallow water Carolina rig. I know that was lengthy. You guys, if you didn't want to watch that, you probably skipped over it. We'll get back to fishing. But I know it's important to kind of take what we use and what works on the water and share it with y'all. By the way, if you guys want to check out any of these lures, use my code John B right there to save 10% off your entire order. I'll link everything down below. So it's a click away from adding to your cart put it on your boat, put it in your backpack, put it in your kayak, and go in fishing. And just like that, you can catch yourself. we're hooked up. A beautiful large mouth bias. Look at this guy, can I release him for you? You can. Open, sniff, catch, release. It's that easy, shallow bassin'. Cool. 10 pounder right here. Could you imagine? Oh. Little guy. There is so much going on. No! That was a giant. Hang on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. That was a giant. He, did, he didn't even eat it, dude. He didn't even touch it. Oh. No, that's a different one. This one was solid. Dude, he never even had it. If I don't get him on this, just go ahead. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Go! Oh, Good one. Yeah. Yeah. Not giant, it's fish. Wow, he went way bigger than that. He seemed way bigger than when he first ate it. Oh, what? Is it a white bass? I don't no, no, it's a. Oh, I, oh God. What the f how did that even happen? Do you guys understand how that even happened? Look at that. He's got the. Oh, he's got the braid wrapped under his gill. Okay. I'm wicked confused. Anyway, that was not as big as I thought it was going to be. There he goes. I just had him wrapped around. How'd you do that little guy? I thought you were like legit a four pounder. See ya. Guys, throwing what John was just talking about, that being a Okeechobee crawl speed worm. Blaze, blaze. Blazing worm, sorry. I honestly got a backlash right there, as you'll see in my GoPro clip. Pulled it out, and as you love it, it had it by the time I pulled it out. Perfect hook set. Five aught Guggen hook to the jaw. Mm. Feels good, man. Fatty, beautiful, healthy, stocky, LM Bizzle. Time to get out the little range to keep it. Good one. There we go, that was sick. Double up. No way. <laughs> Double up in the they room. They like the rain. Let's go. Cheers. Double, doubles in the rain. Cheers, bud. Cheers. I don't think they're here. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that was insane. That was actually I got all of that. Crazy. Bro. That's the type of fish I want to be. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah.
What's that? Well, I'd say that was a, I well, I'd say that was a successful evening of fishing. It's not over yet. We're done. No, we are shutting it down. <laughs> you know why we're shutting it down? Look at this. We've got 20 minutes left of daylight. You're not driving your boat. I'm driving my Whoa. boat. It's about to rain. <laughs> <laughs> Penis out. <laughs> we're, go we're going to one more spot. No, we're not. No, we're not. As the hear that? Just rumbles. No, we're not. That is the belly of a big old bass. She's saying, I'm hungry. Long story short, Grant has no con like concept of uh, when to get off the water. So, leave a comment below if a little bit of rain ever stopped you.